I was speaking at a meeting at the National Geographic and I was talking about our scientific findings about the benefits of combining marine protected areas and ownership in fisheries by local communities. And I was talking about the scientific view of this problem. And one of the next speakers after I talked was Brett, who talked about Rare's model of combining marine protected areas and community ownership of fisheries and how effectively they're able to do this by inspiring pride in the local ocean. And so we instantly realized that we have to work together because we're working on the scientific underpinnings of this. Rare's developed a model that allows this to be repeatedly produced with community, strong community support, and that's a recipe for fantastic success. There are two ways that our collaboration can be beneficial. One is that science can help provide new ideas about how to design MPAs and design community fishing zones so that they have the best chance of working well. Uh, but the other way we can do this is we can evaluate what has actually been implemented in the real world. And RARE has been very effective at linking these two pieces of ocean conservation together. And now we need to learn from those uh, stories in terms of what's been put in place, which ones have been more successful than others, and can we take the most successful cases that RARE has been able to implement and use that as a model for changing how things get implemented in the future. So it's really two things, helping design in the beginning and helping evaluate uh, and learn from what actually happens. The, the scope of the global problem in oceans is enormous and so we need solutions that can really pick up the pace of change. And so we're not going to solve this problem by a few really great individual successes in small places. We need something that can be successful one place and then go viral. Um, and it needs to be a model that doesn't require um, a huge investment uh, on the part of governments or other organizations. It needs to be something where communities want to adopt the change. And so this is what I think is so exciting about the RARE model is that it provides a mechanism whereby we can drive change and keep up with the pace of ocean problems.